Hey, welcome to the Triple Two PC Podcast, coming to you straight out of the DFW Metroplex. I'm Kev, he's Keith, and this is the Triple Two PC. And this episode is brought to you by Smoked. You want the best in barbecue? Get smoked and let your meat soak in the delicious flavors like spiced peach and serrano pino. Smoked. Syrup with soul. My brother Keith, my brother from another mother, how we doing? Present and accounted for, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, um, like that we have a sponsor, like that we give a shout out, you know, our first yeah, one. Trending. Yeah, trending in the right direction. Trending in the right head. direction. So, you know. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I know you said you had something on your mind. So, um, tell the folks what, we, what we're going to be talking about today. Well, man, look at me. I'm already getting misty blue. This one's for my pops. Mm. Frazier Lee Sumter. Born in 1936, man, had a fifth grade education. You know, it wasn't uncommon to, you know, leave school to help in the fields. You know the play. Yeah. You know the play. But, uh, man, I, I uh, you know, we were talking one day and I just told you, man, I got my lighter, man. And, uh, you know, I'm, I, I've been thinking about all the stuff that he told me, man, that I've carried with me all these years. And, and for the people that, that don't know, what was the significance of the lighter so they can get the behind the curtain? Well, you know, that was my uncle gave it to me. Uh, and it was my pops, his brother. It was his lighter, man. And he gave it to me later on. My pops passed. And so, you know, I got to say, man, unrest in peace. Because energy, energy never dies, baby. And uh, so that's the significance of it. You know, I got that, man, from him, you know, from my uncle, man. So, and I've been using it lately now. Let's, I'm talking about, you know, 35, 40 years ago. Mm. And um, I've been using it lately. And it just dawned on me. You remember I brought it to you? I was like, man, my pop's energy been around, man. He's here, man. You know, I use some of his sayings and some of our stuff we've been doing. And, you know, it just made me think, man, he's here. Cause I believe that with all my heart. And that's interesting. Cause I remember we were talking about it when we were talking about how, you know, kind of the format and how we want to present things. And it was like, you know, when you when we talked about your father and that, that ideal sparked and it was like, well, I just say the things dad told me. And I think that is so dope. Yeah, man. It's like, it's so being so prophetic, you know, giving you, you know, that living game, you know, giving me, game that I'd be using four decades later. Hence this cast. Let's hit the clock, man. I'm okay. ready. All right. Let's go, everybody. Everybody in uh, Radio Land, TV Land, wherever you're watching us or hearing us at, I hope everybody's ready for it because uh, the clock is now started. Zero dot dot zero one and counting. So, with that context, I thought I'd say, hey, man, let's just say some of his sayings he gave me and I thought I'd bounce them off you and you tell me you know, are they relevant or, you know, uh, what you feel about them. Okay. So here's the first one. <laughs> I'm on the phone. I'm probably 15. No, no, no. I take that back. I'm probably 10, maybe 11. And I'm on the phone with my friend. Yeah, man, I gave Danny uh, five bucks, man. He's supposed to give it back to me. And when I asked him for it, he didn't have it. And now he's ducking me. And, you know, my pops walks by and he's hearing me have this conversation. So, yeah, when I see him, man, it's a SOS. It's a smash on site. We fight. <laughs> right? right. And, you know, of course, my friends hyping it on. Yeah, man. Yeah, you should kick his butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I get off the phone. And I mean, just as man, just as cool as the other side of the pillow. He says, hey, I heard some of that conversation you had on that phone. You might want to consider this. You gave him five dollars and he don't look like he gonna give it back to you. You might want to look at it like it only cost you five dollars to know he ain't worth a quarter. Hmm, that's deep. That's so what deep. you say? What you say to that? Man, so being at my age now, and I'm I'm assuming let's see, would he be how how, how old was he when he passed? 
How old was he when he told you that? I guess I, I guess that's a good question. Uh, he was probably in his late forties. Yeah, yeah. That wisdom that was gained and the way he said it, it can do nothing but spark something in you. Yeah, man. Because you have to yeah. look at how he came to that and and the angles that you didn't even fathom at all when you thought about what you was doing because you were acting off of what emotion first. Mm-hmm. Right? And young. And you being know, young. No, no not, experience. Not, no experience, right? So he just, he put the experience in such a way that you could understand it at a young age if you were able to just grasp onto what he was saying. Yeah, man. And like you said, even now today, I can still use that today because if somebody owe me something, man, and, you know, they ducking me and dodging me and all that, you know, even, man, you can talk about the dope gang. Hey, man, he better give me my money or I'm going and I'm going to murder him. And it just reminded me of my pops. He'd be like, man, it only costs you five bucks. But the way you talking right now, it might cost you 50000 Mm-hmm. Bond money, that is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. No, so, okay. Man, that's, so, so, yeah, that's dope. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. That that's number one, brother. Let's go to the second one. All right, let's go. The the clock is ticking. Clock's ticking. So I'm um, ear hustling, you know, eavesdropping, if you will. I used to always do that a lot. I realized because a lot of my stories I got was when my pops was talking to his little brother, my uncle L.J. Mm -hmm. Leonard Sumter. So there's a a woman, you know, now a. a, a a fluffy woman, I guess you would call. It. I don't even know what it is now. You know, a big girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's what's the what's the new word for the for the uh, heavier set ladies? Not that they're not beautiful, because you know, big and beautiful, right? So this that woman's walking by. Okay. And my my uncle is heckling, not to her, but to my pops. You know, it's funny, and, you know, she's more bounced to the ounce, blah, 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 right? And my pops, man, without missing a beat, looks at her. Then he looks at my uncle, and he says, well, you know, things seldom feel how they look and look how they feel. Go ahead and just drop that bomb. Because if you know, you know. I mean, and that's just what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you elaborate. <laughs> so, I mean, so much uh, wisdom in that and so much game in that. And what it is, what I'm seeing more than anything is just a, an eye-opening perspective. Like, what many would view as their perception of reality can be enhanced by other people no doubt no doubt. I, I like the way you said that because we can put it like this you can put that in okay a first probably if not your first thought but one of your first thoughts was a sexual thing right mm -hmm. but then you could also apply that man to basic basic fundamentals of green eggs and ham yeah i mean that's what it's really talking about the principle of don't judge it yeah yeah don't judge a book by its cover yeah boom because you're missing out on so much more, right? So it's like, okay, so if we say we want to experience life, what does that mean? That means to its fullest, right? There you go. Without the prejudices, without the biases, like really, truly embrace life and see where, it, and see where it takes you. Live it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay, on to the third. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm pacing, man. I got something on my mind, you know. Got something on my mind. And he said, hey, what you doing over there all that pacing, man? What's on your mind? And um, I just said, well, I just need to, I haven't done this thing with my friend. And, you know, I think he's going to be coming over here. Or I need to go over there. And, you know, whatever it was. No, the detail isn't in, in, in important here. Right. But he says to me, son, stress is unhandled business. See, you don't worry about what you've taken care of. You only worry about what you haven't taken care of. So whatever that is, go take care of it. See, it's a different way of looking at things, man. It's almost like the same analogy, right? The cup half empty or half full, right? Yes, sir. But see, the, the, the one side of it also that's in that aspect of that is go do action, move. Yes, yes. Assess right? and then move. Right. 
because yes. that's the opposite of procrastination. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Yes, because I mean, look, if he can see what I'm thinking, come on, man. Right. You know what I mean? When you want to talk about just somebody just with infinite wisdom with something to say about anything that's life experience um, man that's somebody that is absorbing life seeing the nuances of it yep. you know understanding people understanding emotions right and then problem solving while understanding it and coming up with a solution that he can then teach to someone else who's is open enough to hear it like the mind about of a that. child we talked about that in the awakening man Going to get what? Solid counsel. counsel. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. What's the time on the clock? Uh, we are looking at, um, we have about eight more minutes. We oh, man, we good. Yeah, yeah. we good. Okay. Uh, on the number four? Yes. Okay, let's see. I'm searching for it now. I'm digging in my archives. Okay. I am over messing with some walls. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, as kids, you know, we did that throwing bricks and water and whatever. I else. mean, this is a big one, though, and it's a gang of them. If I had to put a number on it, I'm going to say it's 40 watts on this nest. <laughs> OK. And he says to me. Uh, you better get away from that watch nest. I said, I ain't scared of him. He said, OK. Well, you know, he can't see me because I'm behind the fence. Mm -hmm. He can hear me. Mm hmm. And yeah, I'm hollering. Oh, the, I, if I tell you all 40 of them, I know, man, I know I got stung 10 times because I remember after it was all over and whimpering and I'm laying on my mama lap and she pulling 10 stingers out of me. Right, right. You know, and I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he ain't said a word and my mama, oh, my poor baby, oh, go get the uh, uh, meat tenderizer. Snuff you understand? <laughs> <laughs> and just as calm as you as you want to be. He looks at me when I finally look at him and he says, you learn anything? Hmm. And that's it. Brought you back to reality. That's a, that's, so, that's a sobering statement. It's very humbling. But see, that ties to another one that he told me when he was like, hey, son, come here. Now, you can learn the easy way or you can learn the hard way. But you're going to learn. So mm -hmm. why not do it the easy way? Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's so crazy. But when I think about this, all this stuff, all of it ties back to knowing yourself, man. There it is. It's like, self-evaluation. Like, yeah. Like for me, it's it's hard for me to understand, which I should be able to understand it. Right. But it's hard for me to understand someone that knows they're disagreeable and still is disagreeable. Because it's not about agreeing. It's about resolution. Let me say that one more time. Well, it's not about agreeing or disagreeing. It's about the resolution. If everyone would focus on that, it wouldn't matter who was right or wrong. Because right and wrong is a perspective anyway, right? Yeah. There's there's truth, <clears throat> then there's everything else. So if we're seeking the truth, I don't care if we disagree or agree. I don't care. And that's just another principle that he gave to me because he said this. You like that segue? Yes. He said, you can raise sand. And you can go and fight and be a warrior and be victorious in every battle you have to make a point. After all of that, all you did was make a point that still might not be taken. True that. Hmm. Think about that for a second, bro. Yeah. So, How do you apply so, that today? So, so, you apply, apply it for me today. So that kind of statement is designed to make you start thinking. There you go. Because, because look, he, he tells you at the very end of it, 
you, you did all of that, but you didn't really do anything because it's still back to square one. So if you don't want to go back to square one, you have to take a different route than the one you was going to do because we know where that route leads. There you go. An opinion is like a butthole. Everybody got one, then he added some else to it, and they all stink. Yeah. Same principle. Because look, because look, if you look a block down the street and see uh, a learned man, an intelligent man, um, arguing with a fool from a block away, you won't know who the fool is. Right. See, all that ties together. Mm -hmm. So well, how I apply it to today is, man, don't waste your time, man, trying to convince somebody and going back and forth about something you already know is truth. And you can tie that back biblically if you want. Let your yeses be yes and your noes be no. Hey, man, stop saying yes with your mouth and no with your heart. Come on. <laughs> yeah, man. The archives have now been opened on the Triple Two PC podcast, and we hope that you're all enjoying what you're hearing. And if you are, please remember to like, share, and do what, Keith? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And share. 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 Yeah, we need to get a little echo machine or something, right? Some, add some little more uh, features and stuff, right? Well, you know, till then, <laughs> I got this, baby. I got this, baby. I got this, baby. <laughs> real people, real shows, real, real results. results. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we got about uh, two minutes remaining, everybody. So uh, we're going to be wrapping up here pretty soon. So remember, like, share, and subscribe, as we just said. Keep tuning in to the Triple Two PC and look out because we got more things in the work. We're in the process of starting an internship. Hey, can I get some hey. more of that one? Let's go. Let's hey, go. man. And I, I got a, a, a more uh, near future endeavor for 22P, 222PC itself. Okay. We are going to be building, y'all, a workstation. Oh. Right? Yeah. We are going to be doing a little four part. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not workstation. It's a uh, I don't know. Keep workshop. Uh, let's show workshop. them what's, what's let's show them what's behind door number one. There you go. But no, yeah, man. So you know, hey, y'all, tune in because this workshop it's going to be we're going to get in and out, but it's going to be very, very, very informative. Yes, it's going to be uh, an in depth analysis, if you will, of thyself. Yes. So here is a door that many are afraid to fully open, uh, to kick it open and to go fully in and immerse. And that's going to be the door of your consciousness, the door of yourself, the door your where self. all your secrets are, the door where no one else has ever been, the door that you sometimes don't even venture down the hallway to get next to. The That's door where we're going. That harnesses all of your power. Yes, that's where we're going. So Let's if you're go. interested, if you're interested in that, if you're interested in that, come join us on the Chipper Two PC podcast. Coming soon, 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 soon. Oh, you got an echo machine too, huh? Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, though. Dig it, dig it. <laughs> well, hey, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm Keith. And I'm Kevin. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Triple Two PC. Till next time. Peace. <laughs>